Have you ever visited someone's website or their social media page and it says master loctician and you're like, oh, their services are about to be bomb. Like I can get everything done. Like this is where I need to be. And you start, you know, scrolling through it, clicking on all the different pictures and you're like, why are these parts not straight? Is that build up I see? What did I put it in their hair? If you ever wondered like, what's the master loctician? What's the certified loctician? What's the difference? I'm gonna hit you. <laughs> Before we get into today's very controversial topic, I just wanna take a moment for gratitude and just to thank you so much for watching my channel, subscribing to my channel. If you hit that, you know, subscribe button, I truly appreciate it. And if you've taken it a step further and joined my digital text club or my mailing list, or you've supported my business in any way, just Thank you so much. Like your support means the world to me. It does not go unnoticed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Currently we're nearing 41,000 in the community, which is like mind blowing to me. So I just, just truly want to say thank you so much. So much love, so much gratitude um, to you for your continued support. I also want to let you know just in case this is your first time watching or maybe you need a gentle reminder. My name is Jocelyn Renee and you can think of me as your digital lactician. A part of that um, responsibility truly is to share my knowledge with you. And honestly, that's a large part of the topic today. Information, knowledge, wisdom, education, terminology, <laughs> truly. And so I first, we gotta break those down, right? If we, when we hear the word master, what do we think of? Like, what comes to mind? Let me know in the comment section, what comes to mind when you think of master? Typically, a lot of times, a master of something, a master of a particular trade, is someone who has accumulated I wanna say it's like 10,000 hours or something like that. Like once you've done something repeatedly for 10,000 hours, you can be considered a master. Um, that's one definition of master. A master loctician, unlike a certified loctician, is, is oftentimes a self-proclaimed title. Meaning, well, let me go back. <laughs> just to be a loctician, right? Cause there's levels to this. <laughs> to be a loctician, you could wake up tomorrow and say, you know what? Forget this job, forget what I've been doing. I like locks, I'm gonna be a loctician. Wake up, start, you know, marketing yourself and say, hey, I'm now a loctician. I service people with locks. Come see me, come get twisted up. And you know, people will come, right? There is a high demand for locticians right now. And like many before you, you will learn as you grow. But then you have the title of master loctician in a lot of people's minds. I bet you, I haven't read your comments, haven't read the comments yet, but I bet you a lot of what is in that comment section um, for defining a master loctician is somebody who is skilled and all of the techniques, someone who's able to groom, style, repair, uh, cultivate locks of all different textures. Like you've mastered everything. You haven't, you know, having a space to learn anymore. You are just the master of all things. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's honestly a lot of what people think of or consider a master loctician. But going back to what we said in the beginning of the video, why, why are things looking a little crazy here? Like, mm, what's going on? So a master loctician can be a self-proclaimed title. You can be a loctician tomorrow and then 
say, you know what, I've been working for two years. I've serviced X number of clients. I am now a master or I'm a loctician. I just hired other locticians to work in my salon. And so because I hired them, I am the master loctician and they are just the junior or the traditional regular locticians or what have you. And on the other hand though, too, you have people that have been entrusted with the title of master loctician from like hair shows and other type of uh, cultural groups. And they say, you know what, this person in this community or at this show is the, they've been dubbed the master loctician. And so they take that title and they own it. And so with that being said, it's important to do your due diligence with a master loctician. Now, going to the other side of the uh, conversation, if you will, a certified loctician. A certified loctician is someone who, well, let me ask you first, before I get into it, what do you think a certified loctician is? Um, some things I would encourage you to think about are certified electricians, certified nurse, registered nurse, a uh, certified dietitian. And in my experience, something that is certifiable means that there is a standard or a benchmark. There is curriculum that uh, teaches and matches that standard and there is some form of accountability to gauge or to measure that to that standard and let you know if they've met that standard to then have that title of certified loctician. And so a certified loctician is an extension of a lineage there is some legacy, there's a trace of, of what they learn and what their approach to hair locking is. So it's not something that you can just say, you know what, I'm certified. Because we do know that there's no one governing body for locks. So if you didn't know, currently there is no one governing body for locks. Like, you know, you have a cosmetology, a state board of cosmetology, there's no state board of locking. And because of that, for someone to become certified, they would need to be connected with somebody who has set a standard, developed a curriculum, created a way to measure the proficiency of that lactation or the skill set of that lactation, and then be able to certify that person's skills. If you are seeking a loctician, and we talked all about this in our live a couple weeks ago, I wanna say, um, I'll tag that video in the description box, like what you need to be talking about, considering, thinking about when you're finding a loctician. One of those things, or one of those uh, expectations that you wanna set or at least have in your mind is the difference between a master loctician or a certified loctician or someone who considers themselves a loctician, okay? Because again, there's no one governing body. Just because they say master does not mean they're able to do all things. Maybe they're the master of coils, which is why everybody that sits in a chair gets coils. Maybe they're the master of diamond parts. So everybody that comes to their chair gets diamond parts. Maybe they're master of styling. Like, you know, there's different different strokes for different folks. Certified loctician, there's a philosophy, there's an approach behind it. And we've talked about the different philosophies and all those things. If you have any questions, drop those down below. And also, if you are seeking to become a certified loctician with a holistic, focus or approach to locks, I invite you to visit the New Growth Academy and you can enroll in the Multicultural Loctician Certification Training Program. And as always, I'm wishing you peace, love, and goodbye.